Welcome to the world of DIY science. Today we're going to dive into the fascinating concept of building your own near-infrared IR spectrometer. The brilliance of this project is a testament to the ingenuity of enthusiasts and like yourself. For a mere $1.500 investment, you can create a device that stands up to those with a price tag of $10,000. Walk you through the entire process of crafting your near IR spectrometer using everyday items. For instance, we'll be repurposing a broken CD-ROM as a diffraction grating and utilizing a standard home camera. Let's roll up our sleeves and get started. The real challenge in this project is overcoming the limitations of silicon-based cameras, which are sadly unable to respond beyond 1,100 nanometers in wavelength. But fear not, we've found a perfect solution to this hurdle. Enter the INGAE's Indium Gallium Arsenide Semiconductor, a resource with a tunable band gap that reaches down to about 0.4 EV. Sure, it might make you dig a little deeper into your pockets, but trust us, it's a small price to pay for the immense value it brings to high-end IR spectrometry. The remainder of the video will shed light on why silicon cameras, even though they are easier on the wallet, fall short for advanced IR spectrometry due to their restricted wavelength response. We'll then contrast this with the higher cost yet superior features of InGaz cameras. Despite the heavier price tag, these cameras harbor capabilities that are indispensable for high-quality IR spectrometry, including advanced features like thermoelectric cooling and precision gratings. Whether you're a science enthusiast, a researcher on a budget, or simply intrigued by DIY technology, this video is tailored distinctly for you. We'll be your guide in navigating the process of constructing a detailed spectrometer in the comfort of your own home. This is an ideal interplay of cost-effectiveness and high-tech science. So let's submerge into the fascinating world of spectrometers and kickstart our building journey.